Hi there, boys, girls, and everybody outside and in between. It's another quarterly wrap-up. This time, we're talking about movies. This is going to be a quick rundown, as well as a small review for all the movies that I saw for the first time in the last few months. Starting with Top Secret. This is an old-school slapstick-style comedy in the vein of Airplane, and I was laughing the entire time. There's one joke that I really missed for me, and if you've seen this movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But other than that, I was laughing the whole time. This is a great reminder that Nazis always deserve to be picked on and made fun of. 8 out of 10. Next was The Eternals. I know I'm a little late to the boat on this one, and I'm okay with that. A terrific cast with a couple of standout performances, but I feel like the movie as a whole really suffered from relying too heavily on special effects and not enough on writing or good storytelling. 5 out of 10 very average. Gravity I finally got around to seeing this year. I can understand why it was nominated for awards for its special effects. I do not understand why it would be nominated for any other awards. Personally, I always think outer space is a very interesting topic. Just how absolutely mind-numbingly massive outer space is. And I'm always a fan of when things go from fine to terrible very quickly. This gets a 6 out of 10 from me. It's above average, but slightly. Next was Pet Cemetery. No, nope, not that one. Yeah, that pet cemetery. This was bad. This had remarkable source material. It's one of my favorite Stephen King books, and they actually adapted it fairly faithfully, which I respect, but the acting in this was terrible, especially from our lead. For me, this gets a four out of 10. I thought it was below average. After that was The King's Man. I am a big fan of the first Kingsman movie. Second one was also pretty good. And this lost the magic. You can tell that they wanted it, they tried to have that same kind of spirit and energy going into it, but it just was not there. I think any charm that the first two movies had, they tried to carry over, and in terms of the Rasputin fight scene, they did successfully. But other than that, everything in here was bland, if not just bad. I understand why people want to romanticize war. I think we need to stop doing that. For me, this is another 4 out of 10. War Dogs, a movie about bad people profiting from doing bad things to help other bad people do other bad things. Based on a true story, I cannot attest to how accurate it is to that story. I thought it was interesting, not something I'm dying to watch again, but it was fine for the time that it took up. 7 out of 10. It's above average. Free Guy, it's quirky, sticky Ryan Reynolds doing quirky, sticky Ryan Reynolds. If you're charmed by that, then you're gonna like this movie. If you've gotten tired of it over the last few years, no one can blame you for that, and then you're probably not going to like it so much. Personally, I don't blame Ryan Reynolds that he's always doing the same character. That's what people have proven that they want to see, so of course that's what he's going to keep doing, and that's what he's going to keep getting hired to do. It's essentially a live-action Lego movie, and I don't dislike it as much as I've heard other reviewers do. 6 out of 10 for me, it's slightly above average. Next is West Side Story. This absolutely blew me away in every capacity. I was very nervous going into this because I love the original so much. I'm very aware of its flaws and mistakes that it made, but it was one that I grew up watching. I'm very nostalgic for it. So hearing about this, I was anxious that they were going to modernize it too much, and that's not what happened. I think Steven Spielberg did a remarkable job retelling this story with a modern feel, but still keeping some charm, some splendor of old school Hollywood musicals. The visuals, the acting, the songs, the costumes, this was an absolute blast to watch. 9 out of 10, I thought it was spectacular. Sky High, I know I'm really late to the game on this, this is one of the internet's favorite movies, and yeah, it's pretty good. It's incredibly predictable, and the writing and acting are both a little ham-fisted at times, but it's an enjoyable romp that you can watch with your older kids, and you'll have fun watching it with them. 7 out of 10. The Batman, holy balls was this movie awesome. This focuses less on the action and combat that Christopher Nolan had in his Batman movies and focuses more on the investigation, the detective work, and the mystical otherworldly presence that Batman has, and how he uses that to spread fear and intimidation to criminals. A couple of special shout outs, one to Robert Pattinson for the physicality that he brought to this role. When he was Batman, he looked like Batman. He did an incredible job. And when he was Bruce Wayne, he looked small and slender and kind of sickly, like a spoiled billionaire's kid who's never lifted a finger in his life. And the fact that he could go from one to the other so quickly was phenomenal. And also Paul Dano, I think he did the best job I've ever seen of someone playing the Riddler, especially with the take on the Riddler that they were going for in this. Absolutely phenomenal all around, 9 out of 10. Finally, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I've been reading the books and I was told that this movie only covers events from the first book, which I've already read, so I wasn't worried about spoilers. However, I don't know what book they were adapting. This was not good. The cast, incredible. The source material, 
also incredible. I don't know how they fumbled it so hard. In the beginning and in a couple of parts throughout, they have the charm and just this otherworldly phenomenal sense that you get from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is fun and as played out as it's been, quirky and enjoyable. And honestly, this is a movie I would accuse of trying too hard. It's like they didn't trust the book itself, so they made some changes, and those changes did not need to be made, and it made things worse. With that said, it's not all bad, and if I went into this having not read any of the books, I probably would have enjoyed it more. So it's a 5 out of 10 for me, average. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.